We are going to compare traditional applications or desktop applications as they might be called uh, with UWP apps. They are very, very different and UWP apps are becoming more and more common in Windows. Traditional apps or applications are those programs that you simply install and run. These are the ones we've been using for many, many years. They usually have an executable file in them, but they are often a, a collection of files. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and open my Windows Explorer here. I'll go to the C drive and then program files. And let's just open one of these. Well, we'll take CCleaner here, which is a um, sort of a computer cleanup program. And you'll see that there are a number of files here. There's DLLs, which are these dynamic link libraries, which are used for uh, various purposes in, the, in programming. And then we have an executable. In this case, I have a 32-bit executable and a 64-bit executable. I even have an update executable to check and update this thing or an uninstall executable. So I've got, in this case, four executable files. And then I have all these supporting files that come along with it. So this is a very traditional desktop, desktop style app. And when I install this thing, it puts some settings in my registry. It puts all of these in their proper folder in the file system. In other words, it moves them to the program files and builds this set of files here in the program files folder. Uh, and uh, it may also create some other uh, things that you can't see uh, typically. So, for example, uh, if I go under Users here and then Roger, uh, let me see. Well, I don't have I don't have hidden items turned on. So, if I turn on hidden hidden items, you'll see things like App Data. So that's a hidden folder, and sometimes uh, programs will also put something in this hidden folder as well as other places around the computer. Those are very traditional apps like we've been using for a long, long time. Um, <clears throat> there are some that do not require installation. We call those portable applications. In other words, they don't put anything in the registry or anything else. You can just run them from wherever they are. And if you, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you do a Google search for portable apps, uh, you'll discover tons and tons and tons of those nice portable apps that you can just carry around on a flash drive or something. Um, so installation, as I said, involves creating those registry entries, uh, creating or moving uh, things into hidden folders or into a particular um, place such as program files and so on. Next we're going to talk about UWP apps in the next video.